Humans, I'm Mr. King. Organic Chemistry Chapter First, Fossil Fuels okay, There are three types of fossil fuels which are in three different physical states. It's solid, coal, liquid, petroleum, gas, natural gas. Whereas for petroleum, it will undergo fractional distillation. Okay, we separate these substances based on different boiling points to produce all this useful fraction as stated at the table below. So you need to know that okay, as it goes on the fractions, okay, the melting point, boiling points of the fraction increases. The size of the molecule increases, yeah, and it gets more vicious. And lastly, okay, in terms of color, it gets darker in color. Alright, you see from you see from refinery gas to gasoline, okay, then blah 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 blah, all the way down to bitumen. Okay. All the fraction they are arranged based on the order. So you have to remember the fraction accordingly. Okay. Or you can remember it this way, you see. Random girl needs party doesn't find London big. Okay, isn't it easy? Chemistry hack. Alright, okay, next. Homologous series. Okay, so we are going to learn about these five homologous series. Alkane, alkene, alcohol, carboxylic, and ester. Okay, what are the characteristics of the members in the same homologous series? First, they have the same general formula. Like example, all alkanes can have the general formulas of CNH2N plus 2. Alkane, CNH2N, and blah, 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 as you can see here. Okay, next, okay, they have the same functional group. Okay, like example, all alkane contains only single bond. Alkanes contains one double bond and so on. Okay, other than that, okay, they also have the same chemical properties. Same preparation method. And lastly, the physical property okay, varies in a predictable way. Okay, you have to remember all these characteristics. Okay, before we proceed, okay, the naming part. Okay, the naming part of organic compound it is pretty standard. Okay, it's basically based on the numbers of carbon. Okay, you see, if there is one carbon, meth, two carbon, ETH, three carbon, and so on. Okay, that's a standard way of naming the organic compound. Okay, based on the numbers of carbon. So you see, how can you remember this? All right, see, look here. My enormous P a penguin. Yeah. Uh, bounces pretty high, okay? Very easy, okay? It's so super easy to remember. Okay, next. Alkane. First, general formula. The general formulas of alkane is CNH2N plus 2, okay? Where N stands for the numbers of carbon. If there is one carbon, N equals to 1. If there are two carbon, N equals to 2, and so on. Okay, so what is the source of alkane? Remember, okay, alkane, it can be obtained by fractional distillation of petroleum. Right, okay. Remember, alkane, it is also called saturated hydrocarbon. So what is the definition of saturated hydrocarbon? Remember, saturated means it contains only single bond. Hydrocarbon means contains only carbon and hydrogen. Okay, remember the keywords. Only. Yeah, you have to include the word only in your answer. Alright, see example. If there is one carbon, okay, you n equals to 1, so you get CH4. Okay, so called methane. 2 carbon, C2H6, ethane, 3 carbon, propane. So how do you draw the structural formulas of alkane? Okay, see example. Methane CH4. See, remember, carbon it is always surrounded with four single bonds because one carbon it has four valence electrons. So, in order for carbon to become stable, it has to share four electrons. So, this is the reason why okay, carbon it is always surrounded with four single bonds. Okay? And it is also an example of covalent compound. Okay, you see, ethane C2H6, you see? Okay, propane. Okay, remember, one carbon it is always surrounded with four single bond. That's it. Super easy. Okay, continue. Chemical properties. First, alkane can undergo combustion. Okay, so there are two types of combustion. Okay, complete combustion and incomplete combustion. Complete combustion takes place when there is sufficient supplies of oxygen. Incomplete combustion when there is insufficient supplies of oxygen. 
Right, you see, alkane undergoes combustion to form carbon dioxide and water. Okay, examples of the chemical equation. Okay, CH4 plus O2 to form carbon dioxide and H2O. Okay, then balance equation. Super easy. Okay, just remember, is it? Complete combustion will always produce carbon dioxide and water. Incomplete combustion produce carbon monoxide. Okay, and water and carbon, so called soot. Okay, remember. Carbon solid is black in color. And this is also the reason why okay, during incomplete combustion, dark smoke is given off. So why the smoke appears dark in color? Okay, it's because of the presence of carbon solid. Okay, so called soot. That's the reason why okay, it appears dark in color. Okay, the next one, okay, the important one. Alkanes undergo substitution reaction with halogen under the presence of sunlight or light or ultraviolet light okay, remember halogens okay, are elements from group 7 okay, like example you see chlorine gas bromine gas or iodine okay you see example you see methane yeah okay, ch4 undergo substitution reaction with bromine gas br2 so during substitution reaction one atom is exchanged with another halogen atom. Remember, okay, only one hydrogen will get substituted at one time. Alright, you see, one hydrogen gets substituted with one Br. Okay, to produce this product, you see, CH3Br and HBr. How do you name the product? See, CH3Br it is also called bromomethane. Okay. Okay, and the next one is called hydrogen bromide okay you see there are two products form one with carbon one without carbon remember okay compounds that contains carbon it is called organic compound also you see, in this case it is called organic product okay, and the hbr is called inorganic product okay, remember during substitution reaction and okay, there are two types of products form one it is organic and another one is inorganic Right. Okay. Next, alkene. Okay. With the general formulas of Cn, H two N, where N stands for the numbers of carbon. Okay. Remember, in alkene, okay, the N always start from two. Okay. Because you need at least two carbon to form a double bond. So, what is the source of alkene? Alkene it can be obtained from cracking of alkene. Okay. And alkene it is also called unsaturated hydrocarbon. So what does the term unsaturated hydrocarbon mean? Unsaturated means it contains double bond. Hydrocarbon means it contains only carbon and hydrogen. Can okay, remember the keywords only. Okay, next structural formula. Alright, remember one carbon it is always surrounded with four single bond. Okay. So you see, remember, in alkene, there is one carbon to carbon double bond, and the rest, they are single bond. You see, ethane, you see, carbon to carbon double bond, then followed by hydrogen at the side. Okay, okay always ensure that the carbon it is surrounded with four single bond. Okay, you see, propyl, remember, okay, there is only one double bond in the compound, okay, and the rest, they are single bond. So next, how cracking works? So during cracking of alkene, okay, uh, two types of products can be produced. Okay, first you see, alkene can undergo cracking to form a mixture of alkene and alkene. Or it will produce only alkene and hydrogen gas. Alright, you see example, we have pentane C5H12. Remember you see, alkene can undergo cracking to produce any alkene and alkene. Yeah, any formulas of alkene and alkene as long as the equation is balanced. Example, okay, a uh, cracking of pentane K will obtain ethene C2H4. So therefore, the other products it will be C3H8. C3H8 is propane. See, it is a mixture of alkene and alkene. Then you see C5H12. It can also undergo cracking to form C5H10 and H2. Or it can be more than two different alkene. Like let me see C two H four to balance it, C three H six and H two. 
Right, you see, it is still only alkene and hydrogen. Alright, so this is how cracking works. Next, chemical properties. Hydrocarbons are flammable, therefore they can undergo combustion. Same thing, okay, there are two types of combustion. Complete combustion, incomplete combustion. The next important one, okay, alkene can undergo addition reaction. Okay, so the first addition reaction, so-called hydrogenation. Okay, which means it reacts with hydrogen. Alkene reacts with hydrogen to produce alkene. From unsaturated hydrocarbon, it becomes saturated hydrocarbon. So how it works, you see, alkene, that's double bond. So during addition reaction, the double bond will be broken. Okay, you see, when the double bond is broken, okay, it extends to the side. So now both the carbons they are ready to take in new atom. So both the hydrogen atoms came from the hydrogen gas. Okay, it goes to both the carbon. Alright, you see from ethane becomes ethane. Okay, next hydration means reaction with steam H2O. Alkene reacts with steam to produce alcohol. Okay, so under the condition of Phosphoric acid as the catalyst. Alright, important, right? You see structural formula. Zetin reacts with H2O. So we know that H2O is formed from hydrogen and hydroxide. So hydrogen it will go to one carbon and hydroxide it will go to another carbon. So to form this compound, okay, so called ethanol. So there's one more thing to take note, you see the condition for hydration. So other than phosphoric acid, it's needed as the catalyst. The optimum temperature needed is 300 degrees Celsius with the pressures of 60 atm. Okay, you have to remember the condition. Okay, the last one, halogenation. It means the reaction with halogen. Okay, same thing, say example, ethene reacts with bromine. Double is broken. Okay, one Br goes to one carbon, another Br goes to another carbon to produce product. Okay, you see from ethene to produce dibromoethane. Okay, very easy. So, what is so important about halogenation? Because halogenation is also used as a test okay, to differentiate between saturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon. During this test, bromine liquid is used. Okay, remember, saturated hydrocarbons, it can only react with halogens when there is sunlight. So without light or UV light, there will be no reaction at all. So in this case, you see, if you add bromine liquid into saturated hydrocarbons, okay, there will be no reaction. Therefore, color remains the same. Okay, it remains brown in color. So if you add bromine liquid into unsaturated hydrocarbons, it undergoes reaction and therefore the brown color bromine liquid it turns from brown to colorless that's it all right thanks remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel see you again bye